and welcome back to another sewing vlog. This is a continuation of how I made my engagement dress, which was based in an 1880s design a bustle dress. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made the multi-colored ruffled underskirt. So of course, first off, I have to cut out all of these ruffles and Oh, there was a lot of cutting. I had the red, the green, the purple, the two shades of blue, and I had to cut all of these out. I cut out just length of strips, five inches wide with my quilting ruler, and then I, I cut them twice. So two lengthwise of the fabric, and then I ironed them all out because they were kind of wrinkly. They're more of a, a satiny, type of fabric and I want my ruffles to be like pretty and, and scrunchy but not wrinkly. So once I ironed them out I then sewed the two long strips together and of course before sewing pinning especially for these slippery shiny fabrics is required. So after sewing them together, these strips, I wanted to then give them, well, a nice finished edge, a hem. So this is my my turquoisey turpaline fabric, and on this one, I am going to do a double hem, or um, a, a double folded hem, so it has a very nice finished edge, because this is the ruffle that is going to go on the bottom of my skirt, so it will be closest to the ground. I want to make sure it has a nice finished edge as it is as close to ground it might be seen but all of the other ruffles they're just going to be cascading down on top of each other there is a far less chance that it's going to be seen or it doesn't really need that stability so i am just doing it on a one fold and it also is it's faster and i was well kind of running out of time and realizing that i had to do everything in this project five times was a lot. I then arranged the ruffles how I wanted them to be on the backing fabric which is just a white cotton and I came up with this arrangement and then I looked at my dearest string and then I realized that it's actually the same, it, it follows the same color pattern as the ring and I didn't even mean for it to happen that way. It's just, it just was perfect. So now I'm going to gather all of these ruffles and, well, pin them uh, to the backing, the white cotton backing, because the entire underskirt's not going to be ruffled, just the part that you see. So really it's just the front and the side of the skirt that are going to be of the underskirt that are going to be ruffled because that's really the only part that you're going to be able to see once I put the overskirt on. The making of the overskirt video will be next week. And then the week after that I will reveal what my dearest ring looks like up close. So here I am spacing the bottom of my um my bottom ruffle on uh i believe that it's about three inches off from the bottom of the fabric but then all other of the ruffles that i've gathered and pinned on are going to be about two inches they ended up being a little smaller than i thought they were going to be but i was okay with that i think they kind of poofed better since they were smaller but uh, i'm doing a two inch gap between them I cut them out being about five inches 
uh, I'm pretty sure it was five inches or was it four inches? I think I cut them out being four inches and then when I hemmed them and then again when I pinned them on that both took up fabric so then they ended up being about four inches in total uh, once they were sewn on so then I'm doing a two inch uh, gap between them so that they'll still overlap nicely and you'll still be able to see all the colors uh, so it doesn't get too high on the overskirt. Uh, well, it doesn't get too high on the underskirt and get covered by the overskirt. Of course, no sewing project is complete without the supervision of my most wonderful sewing supervisor, Lucky. It was then time to start sewing on these ruffles. I had a lot of reminders while I was doing this ruffled underskirt project of going back to my 1880s petticoat project. It's a little different, but very much similar practices, pretty much to similar ideas that were, were happening. And again, it was one of those things where I'm just shoving all of this fabric through my sewing machine and sewing it down. I actually didn't have any problems. I thought I was going to sew over something that wasn't supposed to be sewn over, but I, I was very mindful of that and kept like looking and checking and making sure everything was flat as it could be. So I didn't really have any of those problems. Uh, again, it was bulky and I took my time <laughs> going through all of that and, you know, I switched halfway through, I switched and just reoriented everything so that the least amount of fabric was being shoved through like the little armpit section of my sewing machine. But uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. All right, are you ready for a first glimpse? It's not done yet. But this is how it will kind of look once it's done. Right now, I just have it pinned to the mannequin. I have it pinned to Mahilda. That's the name of my dress mannequin. And that's that's pretty much how it's going to look. That's the bottom side, the, the bottom front and the bottom sides of the underskirt. And I think it looks really good. I honestly think it looks a little bit like a hunger games capital dress kind of like an effie trinket uh if you will uh i'm now going to take in darts on the the white fabric of the underskirt because well it needs to fit to my waist i didn't i didn't actually have a pattern for the underskirt i'm kind of mix matching patterns this pattern is actually for the overskirt but i'm also using it for the underskirt
I am now cutting out the back of the underskirt. Again, it's just a white cotton bed sheet that I am going to be using for the back of this underskirt. I am then going to pin it to the front and I'm actually going to pin down all or sew down all the ruffles. I don't really want them to fly everywhere. They seem a little fluttery and I want to secure them down so they still have movement, but they just can't like completely fly up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin down all of the, the ruffles and I will sew them down with in, in the seam of the front and the back of the underskirt. And ta-da! Look at those ruffles go! Look at those ruffles go as I run! Oh, this is such a fun dress and such a fun day and just, ah, oh, all the love. Love it. Alright, well thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time as I complete this dress and go on to talk more about uh, Victorian engagements and how those went down. So until next time, happy sewing!